Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the newest piece of maintenance of way equipment on the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad. This Jordan Spreader came in the mail the other day from Spring Creek Model Trains in Deschler, Nebraska. I uh, pre-ordered this actually at the train show in uh, Sioux Falls this spring. Anyway, let's take a look at what's inside the package here and take a closer look at the model. In the interest of full disclosure, um, I paid um, whatever retail that uh, Spring Creek wanted for these, and I intend to uh, use this in my collection or use this on my layout for regular operations. Let's take a look at what's inside. Caution, side wings are delicate. Open and position carefully. Yeah, so this is not a new model exactly. Um, Walters has offered this uh, Jordan Spreader as a kit for many years now, uh, probably too many to count. And really, this is the first time uh, several years ago they began offering this as a ready-to-run model, uh, which helps a lot of people out. This is, uh, this is not exactly a beginner entry um, or an entry-level kit uh, to build, um, especially to make the, uh, the wings and the, uh, the plow position positionable um, when you finish the build of the kit. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a difficult build, actually. So uh, the, uh, the ready-to-run model is a welcome development. And they've uh, done several other road names, and this is the first time, I think this is the second or third run of these, uh, this is the first time that they've offered a uh, BN Jordan spreader. So we'll take a closer look here. I'm excited to have this. So we'll continue to be very cautious with this model as we realize that there's a lot of fragile parts here. Uh, plastic, protective... Uh, Walther's literature, this is kind of the sort of the same same literature as they've sent along with this thing the whole since the kit days. Your exploded diagram. We'll set that aside. And I see here that the uh, trucks are mounted to some sort of a uh, platform inside the uh, the plastic wrap here. And again, we'll try and be as careful as we can be. Uh, probably lift it out with the, using the couplers. So what you get out of the box is a pretty handsome and uh, detailed piece of equipment. These things are not new on the railroad. These have been since or around since the uh, 10s or 20s on the railroad, 1910s or 1920s on the railroad. Um, and they're used for light snow removal, um, ballast spreading, and things like that. This wedge plow here certainly would have been handy um, this winter. We'll be prepared for the next time. This will probably be a fun thing to uh, carry back and forth between the High Line and the uh, uh, Sioux Falls uh, Gerritsen Line on the uh, Black Hills and Eastern Railroad. So taking a look at the model here, um, of course, you've got uh, looks like uh, metal uh, couplers with uh, with actual real springs on there. I'm not sure if those are KDs or what uh, Walters is doing these days, um, but those do look like metal couplers um, on there. And... Uh, uh, that's a nice feature because um, normally those plastic couplers that come with these uh, ready-to-run models, I, we swap them out for KDs anyway, uh, immediately anyway. Um, we're getting uh, kind of a crew compartment area here. Uh, there are stairs I'll show you in a upper view here. And again, these, uh, these wings are positionable. So if you wish to... And there's really a lot of detail inside that model. It's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, the cylinder detail and the uh, uh, the rod detail, the rams. Uh, pretty crazy detail here. Um, I don't expect that I would do a lot with, uh, with uh, positioning these things. Um, these things seem quite fragile, and this would be um, pretty easy to break. But on the other hand... Uh, just having them folded up, this is an impressive 
looking piece of equipment. Uh, your res air reservoir back here on the back side um, stairs up into the crew compartment. Uh, again, a lot of detail. Try and show the camera a little better here. Uh, that's a neat shot with uh, with all that uh, detail underneath there. So the model does, and of course your KD metal coupler on the backside brake wheel. Very impressive model. May need some touch up and a little bit of weathering, but that's all I see that it really needs. So we'll fold the uh, the wings back into place here. And of course, this would lead and be powered by uh, a set of locomotives shoving on the rear. And I believe these Jordan spreaders have uh, controls for the locomotive. Uh, so actually an engineer would ride up front and, uh, and have a control stand, brakes, um, throttle, uh, access to the air horn, all that type of thing as you'd normally expect. Uh, headlights on, on top of the, uh, the cruise structure here. Um, I do not believe those are functional. That'd probably be easy enough to add. Um, if a guy was really concerned about it, uh, micro LEDs, uh, SMD probably 402, 0402 is there, um, to, to add light there as an actual plow. But, you know, if we just happen to have an operating session where it happens to snow, it, it might be interesting um, to pull it out. And I don't expect this, this, uh, this thing to get pulled or to get used at every operating session. It is very de delicate and uh, do, not, uh, do not probably want to put it into regular use. But just saying for, for fantasy, for fun here, if we have an operating system session and it snows on that particular day, we'll get this out for sure. And maybe even on days we, we don't, we'll move it back and forth between the High Line and Gerritsen or the High Line in Sioux Falls, the High Line in Sioux City. However you like. I was able to snap these truck bases out from the packaging. Um, and again, they, they snap out with just a real gentle tug. And I think what I'd probably, my first move here on the weathering on this in, on this uh, particular piece of rolling stock is to, uh, is to get the, uh, those wheels dulled down, get the uh, sides of the wheels painted. Um, we'll just take the uh, screws out there and uh, paint the wheel sides like I, you've seen me do in other videos. Um, no problem there. Just wanted to get that dulled down a little bit to, uh, to increase the realism of the model right out of the box. And I see, just as a, as a side note here for taking a look at what's underneath the model, um, you can see metal wheels, obviously, uh, metal axles, uh, metal couplers. If we wanted to pop those couplers out of there and replace those with uh, ones that have been painted and weathered, it'd be no problem to do so. So we get 2.7 ounces on the scale here, which is a little bit light for a, uh, we'll say, 6.5 inch car against NMRA recommended practices. But for a maintenance away car and for something that's as detailed as this, it's going to be difficult to find places to attach more weight. Um, we will let this be. Probably what will end up happening with this car is it will be run towards the end of the train most of the time anyway, right ahead of the caboose. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. This is a beautiful car, and we're going to let that one go. Um, this matches up the uh, front here on the uh, on the wedge plow end. Matches pretty close to our coupler height gauge, our KD coupler height gauge. And um, the back looks a little droopy, um, but it's probably close enough. I see that uh, trip pin is actually hitting the base of the... Uh... Let's step out to the layout and take a look at the uh, this car being run.
focus over all, over all those runbys, but uh, for whatever reason, my mic dropped out when I was recording those. So you have to settle for this uh, closure here. Um, in uh, retrospect and in uh, wrapping up this review, I felt that that uh, Wal Walters Jordan spreader did a really nice job tracking over the uh, less than stellar track work on the uh, Black Hills and Eastern Railroad here. Um, it runs really well. It's well detailed. Um, if you're in need of some snow fighting equipment like we were here in South Dakota in the winter of 22-23, um, I highly recommend this. Um, it'll be a fun piece to have to move around and uh, get some snow moved with. Thank you for watching. Click that like button if you like the video. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.